Okay, for this session, uh, I want to look into the XXE under the injection floor, this particular part. Uh, of course, uh, you need to launch your web goat first and do a login, which I already have uh, done. But for this particular session, you will also need to have your Zap uh, running. So I have my Zap running at the back and it's already capturing certain uh, response and requests from the web goat itself okay so if you go into your injection floor xxe uh, of course you have two pages in the front which is uh, the objective the goals as well as a read up on the xml itself which is the page uh, two but if you go into the page three this is where you actually see your lab and the objective of this lab is actually over here to try listing the root directory of the system file now we have a form of comment type of uh, web application so if we just do a quick test okay, so if I click a submit you will see that okay the what I've typed appear or you will see my user and of course this is not the solution because uh, I did not manage to list anything now what I would like to do next is I would like to further understand the system let's say I do a XXE here using the ampersand and the semicolon and uh, of course this is not the answer as well but I did generate a whole bunch of error here uh, and you can see from the error itself if you study the error you can see that there is a potential XSE uh, injection it, it might be possible over here right? because you can see all the or well, you can study all the error over here now I'll clear this error first just by creating another text right, so now all the error is gone now in order to list the root directory I will need to intercept using zap here okay so I will do an interception on using zap over here and uh, it doesn't really matter why I type here because I'm going to change it anyway right, so let's say I do a submit and of course uh, this is intercepted and you can see it's using an XML version 1 then you have the command and the text which is uh, allocated by the web application itself and what I have typed is actually in the center here right the ampersand XSE semicolon now uh, I'm gonna use this code no, I'm too lazy to type again so I'll just copy this code now what this code actually does right is basically it is going to do my injection for me you have your doc type by right, command I'm using a command because I want to coincide with the uh, application then you have your activities of the PC data and I want to do a listing of the root directory which I'm using the uh, two dots right okay so I'm just gonna paste this one here replacing everything here so I'm going to delete this I'm going to paste it here all right okay so this is my code and I'm going to just let it continue now okay let me just show what I've done uh, of course I get a congratulation message at the bottom to state that I have completed the assignment uh, all right I also get the green uh, tab and a small little tick mark but where is my root directory listing it is actually over here so you can see all these are actually my root directory listing so my root directory has been shown onto this forum itself so we have actually uh, achieved listing of the root directory and completed this particular uh, lab 
Alright, I'll leave you to actually go and read up on the XML. Um, you do need to know a little bit of XML in order to understand what is going on at the back. But this is just a quick way for you to see how the XSE can be used right, to as an injection right, to review certain information about the host machine.